una vez más. Eso. Hello, my name is Luis Carlos Villarreal Martinez, and I am a teacher here in the state of Nuevo León. It's good to be back in the class of English number three. This is the third grade, and this is going to be a good moment, a good time to practice our subject, the second language in the world. Okay, so what do we need for this class? What do we need for this class? Okay, I want you to remember what happened when you are playing and when you want to finish the Street Fighter, when you want to finish the FIFA, okay, at the time that you are playing video games. If you want to finish the game, it is very important that you practice every day. Well, the same thing is going to be happening for English, okay? In this case, at the time that you play a video game, Please say hello to Will Smith, okay, the French Prince, okay. When you are exercising, when you are working out your body, you need to practice every day to become better, okay. So what do we need? We need your attention in this class, okay. And I want you to be ready to practice English. Let's keep building some learning, learning bombs, okay. So we are going to practice because we want to be a better English speaker. Let's talk about previous knowledge. Previous, similar to Spanish, good, okay? Knowledge, say hello to a Snoop Dogg, the more you know. What is our previous knowledge? Okay, let's see if you remember the classes, let's see if you remember English, okay? Please pay attention. Have you seen them? Check this question. Have you ever seen, okay? Have you ever observed this kind of illustrations in the city at the moment that you are in the elevator, at the moment that you are in the hospital, at the time that you are walking in the street, okay? Here we have some examples. Love coats must be worn in this area. Then we need something about the cell phone. Well, the old cell phones, okay? The cell phone that me, your mom, your grandma used in the past, okay? Because now in the present, you used to uh, be using your smartphone, okay? But this is a prohibition, something that is not correct, something that is not available. Then we have this indication, no food or drink, allowed, okay, but we have the no, and we have a line that is canceling, okay, then we have this wear picture, okay, no sandals, then pay attention, have you seen them? I know that you have, because this is part of our normal life, okay, the yellow things, the yellow signs, the yellow indications, the caution, message, caution, like an alarm, okay, here, something related with danger, okay? So, what is your answer? Have you seen them? Yes or not? I know that you have, okay? Thank you for your participation class. Let's continue. Here we have the previous knowledge. What you must remember. Signs, colors, and indications. But these signs, what is a sign? Sign, it's an indication for people that is working in the city, people that is working in a hospital, people that is working here in the company or that is working in a school, okay, when we return to classes. 
colors and indications, they are going to be global. Around the world, the colors are going to be the same because it is not important if you don't speak English. If you go to United States, at the time that you observe the color of an indication, you will indicate and you will realize, you will comprehend if the indication is something that is not allowed or something that it's like a recommendation, okay? Prohibition, obligation. The color is red, okay? So when we are walking in the city, when your father is driving the car, have you observed red indications? Yes, okay? And you can remember that some indications express obligations. Obligations are affirmative and imperative, like orders, okay? No option, this is an obligation. Then we got prohibition. At the time that we say prohibition, prohibition means a line that is canceling. What happens when you cancel something? It is in parentheses the same as saying no, okay? Then we got this category. Have you seen when your father is walking from Saltillo to Nuevo León, from Saltillo to your house in Escobedo, to your house in San Nicolás, uh, have you seen these indications in blue color? Yes, because teacher, I see and I observe that there is a restaurant and I start to uh, try to convince my father that we must arrive to the, to the restaurant, okay? So these are yellow, these are going to be in blue, okay? Most of the cases. Then we got this, pay attention class. For example, prohibition that we mentioned before, it's gonna be red, prohibition or obligation. We have the no smoking. So no smoking, it's gonna be something that is prohibition. So the category in all the world, a red circle that is canceling, it's gonna be red, okay? And that is something that you cannot, that you cannot do. You don't have an option, okay? It's prohibition, no. No smoking for this, in this, in this case. Uh, then we got the red circle, okay? The affirmative expressions or the order, the imperative expression, keep silence. Yeah, keep silence, okay? Then we have the category number three, warning, okay? What is the color? Yes, you're right, it's yellow. And the words are in black ink, okay? The warning express, express, pro, uh, express recommendations, suggestions, advices, okay? Information, we have yellow. They, they, this is information for people, information for the community. If you work in the hospital, the information is that for people, e the doctors, the patients, and the nurses, the doctor assistant. Laboratory, okay? Oh, teacher, this is outside the laboratory in the door, and this is only the indication that this door is for the laboratory. Yes, the, the objective of this kind of science is just to informate something, okay? But what happened with the yellow one, okay? The yellow one expresses something to prevent accidents, something to indicate possible, possible risk, okay? For example, danger, danger, like an alarm, danger, high voltage, okay? Do you remember this sign? because it's very popular, okay? Then we got the last one, danger, one more time, alarm, okay? But this is optional, this is just a recommendation, this is just something to prevent, okay? Electrical hazard, okay? Electrical, like electrical material, okay? So at the time that you observe the yellow color, you must realize and comprehend that, okay, this is a recommendation. This is a possible risk or a possible alarm for me. I have to pay attention, okay? When you are driving the car and you observe the red circle, this is going to be an obligation. What happened with blue? Okay, teacher, for example, teacher, what happened if 
outside, outside my house, I put a sign and it says, welcome to my house. Is that possible? And that's going to be correct? Yes, that's going to be correct. Okay, let's continue class because we have an exercise. Of course, we have to practice. Signs around the world, okay, around our planet. Do you remember the no smoking? Yes, in hospitals, in schools, when you go to a restaurant, the no smoking, it's like a prohibition because the restaurants are obligated to indicate this to community, to visitors. Then we got no eating or drinking in this area. For example, can you imagine the teacher the teacher eating a hot dog here in the studio? No, because it's not allowed. It's a prohibition, okay? No parking, okay? You cannot, you cannot park your car in front of your house because this is a prohibition sign and this is the indication. Red circle, red line that is canceling, okay? Keep silence. Keep silence, okay? Then we got a staff only, okay? For example, when you used to go to a school before the, the COVID situation, okay, the teacher's room indicate a staff, okay? And the red color indicates no optional. Then, caution, wet floor, okay? It's like an alarm, wet floor, el piso está húmedo, okay? A school zone, this is the Pre, the, this is going to be the indication, the okay? The That's indication nice for water. you. Then we got, beware of the dog. This is an alarm, beware of the dog, okay? So this is a recommendation, hey, I have a dog, okay? Then, what happened in blue? This is just information. A gas station, it's in the next mile or in the next kilometer. Then we got, Welcome to the fabulous Vegas, to Las Vegas, okay? And what is this indication? Nothing. It's just to informate that you have arrived to the city, okay? We are going to continue. Please go back, okay? We will return. in a bottle. Hi, my name is Colin Kilbane, and I'm going to show you how to make a tornado in a bottle. The things you're going to need, you're going to need a little bit of dish soap. You're going to need some glitter. Now I use embossing glitter. That's super fine glitter. A pencil. A bottle with a cap. Regresamos. Esto es Escuela TV. 
Escuela TV se transmite por Vive FM en los municipios de Anagua, Sabinas, Cerralbo, Monte Morelos, Linares, Galeana y Doctor Arroyo. Escuela TV, tercer grado, secundaria. Thank you for being back. Okay, I have a little question. Did you drink water, Minwell? Good, because you're gonna need it. Okay, you'd see, you'll see why. Okay, let's continue. We were, we were being talking about science. Let's create your own science. Teacher, is that possible? Can I create my own science? Yes, if you respect and consider the colors, the global colors, and the corresponding category for it. Okay, for example, keep out. Imagine that you place this in the door of your bedroom. Keep out, okay? Like go away. Well, this is in red, so this is an obligation. Your father cannot enter to your bedroom because, oh, the sign, the indication, it's in red. This is an obligation. I have to respect the bedroom, okay? Then, this is an obligation. Then we got no spoilers. What happened when a new movie, a new film, it's gonna be watched for you the next Saturday. But then your best friend called you, hey, I went to the movie theater, okay, and I watched the Avengers movie. Can I tell you what happened at the end? No, 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 no spoilers. And then in those days, you even, you didn't, and you have not entering to the Facebook, to the Twitter, because you don't want spoilers about this movie. You want to have the sensation and the feeling of being at the time, being at the moment, okay? What is this? Prohibition. Yes, teacher, because you mentioned before that a red circle and a line that is canceling, it's gonna be Prohibition, not a law. Remember, the prohibition, it's no, okay? Let's imagine that you create another one. Prevention, warning, yellow, Jason's room, danger, recommendation, keep out, go away, okay? So, is that possible for you to create in your notebook your own signs for your bedroom, your own signs for your laptop, for your laptop, for your computer. Hey, no brothers using my laptop, okay? This is warning, yellow color, teacher. Then we got another one. Fuera manos guangas. I don't get the idea what is this, okay? But this is information, something just to informate, okay? Well done, class. Excellent. Okay, you finished the previous knowledge. And then we have Tim Marty. Then we have Cristiano Ronaldo with the C. Okay, and then we have, uh, what is the name of this famous character? Nacho Libre. Okay, a Mexican movie. Okay, so then we got the topic for today. We have the scientist doc. And then we have Another scientist, what is this? We are going to talk about the school laboratory. Well, in this case, with the COVID situation, you are not using your school, your school laboratory, but when we return next year, next academic year, you are going to be using the school laboratory. That's why it's gonna be very important for you to comprehend this information, okay? What are usual the most common things we use at the laboratory. What are they? Well, it is very, very important to use the lab coat. It is very important to have a pencil, a pen. Yes, because you have to copy the information, okay? This is the lab coat from Phineas and Ferb, okay? But the lab coat, it's what the scientist, the person, is wearing, okay? If you are going to make an experiment, it is very important that you use the lab coat. Then we have the pencil, the pen, yeah, because the teacher is going to say, hey, you have to copy the information about this science practice, okay? 
Then we have, very important, it is necessary, the science, the science book, okay? If you think about, they are not usual. They are like obligatory things that we need when we use the laboratory, okay? When we go to laboratory, this is gonna be like obligated. Then, of course, it's gonna be very important the laboratory equipment, okay? For example, here we have the tape, here we have the thongs, here we have the barometer, then we have the indicator, the stopwatch, okay? To have for a specific time, okay? Here we have um, the Bunsen foreigner, okay? The test tube rack, okay? We can mention, all, also we can mention even the calculator, Okay, when you are taking science three, like chemistry, it is very important to have a calculator because you are going to use some quantities. Okay, so laboratory equipment, it's also very important. Okay, and you must take care of this. Video activities, say hello to Lenny Kravitz. Please pay attention to the next video because we will have an exercise to practice. Pay attention. Okay. Things you're going to need. You're going to need a little bit of dish soap. You're going to need some glitter. Now, I use embossing glitter. That's super fine glitter. A pencil. A bottle with a cap that's nice and tight, watertight. Find a nice clear bottle here. This is just a travel size shampoo bottle. And you're going to need some water. Here's how you make a tornado in a bottle. Take your bottle, a drop or two of dish soap. Now I'm gonna put the water in. I'm not gonna fill it up all the way. Now add just a touch of glitter. Take your pencil, dip it in the water, dip it in the glitter. Pull it out of the glitter and then Take your bottle and just dip it in. And the glitter should come off. Put the cap on, nice and tight. Let's see if we can get a tornado. Tornado in a bottle. And that is how to make a tornado in a bottle. Okay, so we are going to be back. Just pay attention. Okay, let me close this and let's continue. Okay, what happened when we are doing an experiment, a science practice? Okay, I need your attention. It is very important that we define the experiment, what's the name of the experiment, okay? What did you see in the, in the last video? Oh, well, teacher, I observe a laboratory, okay? And I observe a person wearing what you mentioned before, wearing a lab coat, okay? So, at the time that you go to laboratory, it's very important to define what's gonna be my practice, what's gonna be my experiment, okay? Then, it is important to indicate the title. What's the official name of this practice? To mention what are the materials, the needed materials, okay? If you need your pencil, if you need water for the experiment, if you need soda, if you need baking soda, okay? If you need alcohol, okay? Just the materials you need to make the practice. Describe the process. This is probably the most, this is probably the most important part of an experiment. When you describe what happened and what are the indications class, what it's the process and what are the instructions to have this experiment and to get the goal, okay, to reach the objective. Pay attention observe the result, okay? So, 
if I define the experiment, if I identify what is the name of the practice, if I discover, I develop what are the materials that I need and I get them, okay? Now, I pay attention to the description of process, to the parentheses, instructions, and I start to do my experiment. What is happening at the end? Well, you observe what happened, you observe what was the result, okay? I want you to watch one more time and to say hello one more time to Lenny Kravitz. I want you to watch the video, but I want you to identify the information that we describe. The name of the practice, what are the materials, and what are the in instructions, what is the process. Please pay attention. It's gonna be with volume, yeah? Okay, please pay attention, class. Glitter, yes. now I use embossing glitter. That's super fine glitter, a pencil, a bottle with a cap that's nice and tight, watertight. Find a nice clear bottle here. This is just a travel size shampoo bottle and you're gonna need some water. Here's how you make a tornado in a bottle. Take your bottle, a drop or two of dish soap. Now I'm gonna put the water in. I'm not gonna fill it up all the way. Now add just a touch of glitter, take your pencil, dip it in the water, dip it in the glitter. Pull it out of the glitter and then Take your bottle and just dip it in. And the glitter should come off, put the cap on, nice and tight. Let's see if we can get a tornado. Tornado in a bottle. And that is how to make a tornado in a bottle. Thank you, class, for being paying attention. Okay, so we return to the class. Uh, what did you observe? Uh, teacher, the science teacher, it looks like all from Toy Story, the one that take Goody. Yes, kind of that. Okay, let's continue with the class. Video activity. What happened in this video? Did you identify the name of the practice? Did you identify what are the materials? Did you identify the steps, the instructions? Let's see, what was the name of the practice? Yes, you're right, please pay attention here. The official name for this practice is how to make a tornado in a bottle, okay? Then we got the set of materials. What are the official materials if you want to make your tornado in the bottle? Okay, what are? Well, they mentioned dish soap, like the palmolive, like the Action, the one that your mother uses to wash the dishes, the plate, the, uh, the cup, okay, the fork, etc. Glitter, glitter. Glitter, it's the one ladies use to decorate some small particulars, okay? Uh, ladies use to decorate the projects, to decorate the homeworks. A pencil, very important, the pencil. A bottle with a cap, a bottle, the recipient, the container with the cap, okay? With the cap. And it's gonna be very important, the use of water, okay? What are the steps? What? were the instructions that you listen class. Pay attention to a number one. Number one, you have to add, like include, some drops, drops of dish soap to the bottle. So I do it. A step or instruction number two. You shouldn't, you should fill the bottle with water. So you take the water and you fill it. You have to spread some glitter. You have to close the bottle, and then you have to move the bottle. Those were the instructions, okay? And those were the materials. 
according to the video and according to the explanation we lesson before. Active pause. Stop about English. Let's practice and let's make some squats, okay? Let's work out our body. Prepare your body. Stretch your legs. We are going to be making squats and I want you to do 10 squats. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, thank you class. It's very important that you work out. It's very important that you work out and that you, that you continue doing exercise, that you continue working out in your house. Okay, we are going to return. Don't go away. Thank you. Escuela TV, tercer grado, secundaria. Escuela TV se transmite por Vive FM en los municipios de Anáhuac, Sabinas, Cerralbo, Montemorelos, Linares, Galeana y Doctor Arroyo. Esto es Escuela TV. Continuamos. Política, opinión de expertos y un diálogo que invita a la conciencia electoral. Nuevo León decide 2021. Viernes 9 de la noche y domingo 4 de la tarde. Canal 28, la televisión de todos. La vacunación contra la COVID-19 sigue en marcha. Están llegando millones de dosis para todo el país. Las vacunas han sido aprobadas por organismos en todo el mundo. Son eficaces y seguras. Muy pronto será tu turno. Recuerda, la vacunación es universal, gratuita y voluntaria. Te protege y protege a quienes queremos. Si quieres más información, visita mivacuna.salud.gov.mx Cuidémonos entre todos. Vacúnate y no bajes la guardia. Secretaría de Salud. Gobierno de México. Un buen programa de radio y televisión busca cubrir las necesidades que tiene su público, descubrir qué es lo que ocupan y que sus contenidos se apeguen a la verdad y realidad de las audiencias. Mi nombre es Héctor David Galaviz Ruiz, defensor de audiencia del sistema de radio y televisión del Estado de Nuevo León. Como televidente y radio escucha, tú tienes derechos. Regresamos. Esto es Escuela TV. Escuela TV se transmite por Vive FM en los municipios de Anáhuac, Sabinas, Cerralbo, Montemorelos, Linares, Galeana y Doctor Arroyo. Escuela TV. Tercer grado. Secundaria. Thank you, we are back. It's very important to be working out in your house, okay? The pandemic, the COVID, it's not an excuse, okay? That was the active pause. Today we practice squats and that was the little gorilla, okay? So let's continue talking about grammar time. Grammar time, it's very important because the exam, the final test, when you present an official test for English, the grammar, it's like, obligatory to be comprehend, okay? And then we have uh, one example of my boy favorite uh, video game, Plants vs. Zombies. Have you played this game? Because I did, okay, I have, and it's excellent. Then we got the information teacher. 
shouldn't, shouldn't. What is this? Well, if you pay attention to the video, okay, you must identify the use of should and shouldn't during the indications, okay? What is should? We use should, it's an indicator, or shouldn't, in case of negative, to give advice. Okay, but what is an advice, teacher? Advice, it's in parentheses, a synonym, it's recommendation class. So, to talk about what we think, your opinion, it's correct or incorrect. But one more time, if you are in a situation that you need to express a recommendation, it is necessary that you use this indicator, should. For example, you look tired and the recommendation is you should go to the bed, you should go to sleep, okay? What happens if you want to give a recommendation for your friend, okay? Hey, you should, you should practice English or you should use your dictionary in English to comprehend the class of the teacher, okay? So the idea for today is to memorize the use of should, the use of shouldn't, okay? But then we have another one. Okay, during the explanation in the experiment, you identify the use of have to in the process, in the instructions, okay? The use of has to, but what is that? Let's be honest. Okay, teacher, what is that? Okay, well, have to or has to, they indicate affirmative expressions to express obligation when something it's necessary. But what is an obligation? Again, remember the obligation, the red circle, silence, shh, it's an obligation. You have no option, okay? So if you need to express a, an obligation, it is necessary that in your expression, you use have to. For example, I have to study, and here we have the student, I have to study every day. Teacher, I have no option. I am in my house, I am watching Aprende en Casa, I am watching Escuela TV, okay? So I have no option. This is my obligation. I have to study every day because I want to become a better person, okay? So what happening has to? Well, has to, it's gonna be used when we describe an obligation for an extra boy or for an extra girl. Okay, for example, if we mention my friend has to speak German because she is studying German in a school, okay? Or oh, teacher, my brother, my brother has to wash my father's car every Saturday because he receives 100 pesos, le paga 100 pesos por lavar el carro, okay? So it's an obligation. Then. Then we have this short exercise, short practice. Unscramble the words in parentheses and then complete the expressions. Number one, analyze the number one. I, and then we have a little space, read the instructions before the practice. But in the parentheses we have an no order, no order letters. You need to unscramble to order these letters and to make the first answer. What is the first answer? Well, let me see, teacher. Yes, you're right, it is should. So, the number one, it's a recommendation. I should read the instructions before, previous, the practice. And it is important, it's a good recommendation, okay? Check the instructions before you start to use the materials. Then we got the number two, pay attention. Number two, you to add some salt. And then we have, we have the A, we have the H, we have the D, we have the E. What is this? Ah, oh, have. So the expression number two ends. You have to add some salt. So probably this is part of an instruction about an experiment. At the time that you observe have to, you have no option class. It's obligatory. Check the number three and check the number four. Teacher, 
should be walking around the laboratory. It's a recommendation for teachers. It's very important, teachers. When you go to laboratory, you have to, you have to, you should be walking around, checking the students because they are using materials, okay? During the, and then we have this extends, this long word. Wow, oh, teacher, this is difficult. No, it's not difficult. It's experiment. So the expression is, Teachers should be walking around, this is the recommendation for teachers, during the experiment. Then we got the number four. I have to, ah, oh, teacher, that is an obligation. Yes, but help me to complete this answer. I have to, the substances. I am X. What is this? Yeah, kind of similar to the teacher, okay? What is this? Mixed, okay? Of course, the teacher is better than me using the signs, okay? So, uh, number five, we have to, another obligation, we have to, the results in our book. What is this very, very important, very important skill? And it is for communication. If I speak, or if I cannot speak, I have the ability, I have the uh, skill to write. Excellent class, okay? I want you to help me. The lady is drinking water, but people drink water during the day. Shoot, excellent. Mario Bros, this is the video game, and it mentioned press start. You press the start button at the Super Mario Bros, okay? This is recommendation or obligation? This is have to. ¿Qué pasa si no le oprimes al botón de start? No inicias el juego. Es obligatorio. Okay? Then, Goku is eating, just like the teacher, eating a lot. Okay? Goku should or have, has to eat too much. Goku shouldn't, negative. It's a recommendation not to eat a lot. Okay? Then we got. The last one, what happened? A little accident, okay? You don't have to walk on wet floors, okay? So we are going to return, okay? Please go drink water, get relaxed just for two or three minutes and we will be back, okay? Thank you. Escuela TV, tercer grado, secundaria. Escuela TV se transmite simultáneamente a través de Facebook, YouTube y Twitter. Síguenos. Regresamos. Esto es Escuela TV. La televisión de todos. Inscripciones para el Colegio Militarizado General Mariano Escobedo ya están abiertas. Regístrate en línea y estudie bachillerato técnico en logística, además de ingeniería en logística, ingeniería en desarrollo sustentable o ingeniería en seguridad informática. Prepárate hoy para tu gran futuro. Fecha límite viernes 2 de julio. Más informes en Facebook arroba Colegio Militarizado NL y al 81 11 80 11 56. Secretaría de Educación, Gobierno de Nuevo León. Esa viernes. Noticias 28, 7 de la tarde. Comieron con tu abuelita. Ay, ¿y cómo está? De tus decisiones depende tu vida y la de tu familia. Quédate en casa. Canal 28, la televisión de todos. Canal 
Esto es Escuela TV. Continuamos. We are finishing the class. This is the, the these are the last minutes. So pay attention. We continue, okay? Check this. What is happening with probably a father in the stadium? Well, has to obligation or recommendation class. He has to sleep, but not in the stadium. He has to sleep in the house, not in the stadium. Come on, you are going to the stadium. This is for entertainment. You cannot sleep. Come on, Dad. Okay, then we got, wow, terrible, okay. Recommendation or obligation class. This is disgusting, okay. He has to, he has to, what? To the dentist now, like an emergency. He has to, obligation, he has to go. He has to visit the dentist. Come on, this is a big trouble, okay. We continue. Connectors of sequence, what is this? You should use them to show the order in which things happen, okay? So if you are going to describe the process, if you are going to describe the instructions about an experiment, it is necessary to use first, then next, after, as soon as, later, before, and finally. So, if you are describing an experiment, you use these connectors. And what is the objective? The objective is this vocabulary. It's going to be connecting all your ideas to give a sequence to the process you want to describe. Okay? Let's continue. How to make these are the instructions. How to make a cup of tea, okay? The lemon tea, for example, un té de limón, okay? First, we boil some water first, indication one. Next, serve the water in a cup. I continue and I am connecting the ideas. Then we have the next one, pay attention. The use of steps. Okay, what happened in the use of steps? So, teacher, is that obligatory that I use uh, first, then, next to describe a process? No, we have another option. According to grammar in English, we have another option. Okay, the use of steps. What is a step? This is a step. Indication one, indication two, this is a step. Okay, so I describe a step by a step all the indications in my experiment. For example, making a grilled cheese sandwich. Okay, step number one, get two slices of bread. Okay, and this is the bread. Step number two, put the butter on the bread, put it. Number three, Put a slice, like a piece, a slice of cheese on the bread. Step number four, cover the sandwich with the other slice of bread. Step number five, put the bread in a pan. The pan is the recipient, the container, okay, in the stove, and grill it. Step number six, mm, probably the most delicious one, eat and enjoy, you can eat your sandwich. So, officially, to describe the process of something, we have two options. I use the connector words, first, then, next, after, finally, and I give the instructions. Or, if for you it's better to describe a step by a step, you number the indication. Okay, so teacher, if I am in the laboratory and I will explain my experiment, what should I do? Can I use the number one, number two, number three? Yes, it is possible and it is gonna be correct. You will have a hundred, okay? 
Then we have Homer Simpson with a book. Reading time, okay, pay attention. Make your own volcano, okay? Here we have a science activity. What materials do you need? Washing up liquid, vinegar, plastic cup, bicarbonate of soda or baking soda, red food coloring, and then we have the indications class, okay? Fill your cup just with over half full with water. Add three teaspoons, okay? This is the quantity of bicarbonate of soda and give it a good stir until most of the bicarbonate of soda dissolves. Number two, add two drops of red food coloring and a good squirt of washing liquid into the cup. And once again, give it a share. Then make sure your volcano is in the kitchen or outside or somewhere when you don't mind making a mess, okay? Because probably your mom is gonna get furious with the reaction. Quickly, number four, quickly. Pour in just under a quarter of a cup of vinegar and enjoy what happened, the volcanic eruption. We return to here, please. Thank you, okay? And what happened? This is the reaction, okay? Like a volcanic eruption, okay? So that was the reading comprehension. But we have one more activity, video activity. Pay attention, class. Roblox, video, come on. Thank you for watching the video, okay? That was another experiment class, okay? And then we have the video activity. Name of practice, you're right, how to make a lava lamp in your house. Materials, plastic bottle, vegetable oil, food coloring, effervescent tablet, Alka-Seltzer here in Nuevo León, okay? And then we need water, water is very important. What are the instructions? First, you have to fill the bottle three quarters with oil, vegetable oil, like the Nutrioli one, okay? You should fill the rest with water. Number three, you have to, obligation, you have to add some drops of food coloring. Number four, you have to break some tablets, like the Alka-Seltzer, okay? And you have to throw them in the bottle. Number five, you have to move, you have to move, shake the lava lamp. And then if you have, if it is possible, you can use a flashlight like in your cell phone, okay? Then we have the information program. It was the project number three during the academic year, okay? And I have to introduce a very important person for me, class, okay? A little bit of Spanish. Les presento a mi jefe, mi ídolo, mi espejo, y sobre todo mi amigo. Él es mi papá. Happy Father's Day for you. Gracias, papá. Te amo. Goodbye.